Hey everybody, so we have finished up the drywall in Adriana's bedroom. Um, right now you're looking at the hallway that we built off the living room. So you can come down this hallway. This door here to the right is um, the kids' bathroom. And then this opening here will be the doorway into Adri's room. Um, all her stuff's piled up on her bed, so it's a mess right now. But drywall is finished. And we're getting ready, or I'm getting ready, to start trimming out the windows. So I'm going to grab some supplies, pull out the compressor and the nail gun so that we can get that project started. Okay, so to get started framing out this window, the first step is to measure for the window sill. Um, so in this case, we have a 28 inch window. So I'm gonna measure from outside to outside, 28 inches. And I know that the trim here, I'm gonna have a one by four running up the side which is actually three and a half inches. And then I want the windowsill to stick out an inch past that. So I need to have four and a half inches on either side. So four and a half times two is nine, 28 plus nine is 37. So this board that we cut for here is gonna be 37 inches long. Okay, so now that we have that 37 inch board cut, we need to know how deep the windowsill is. So it's pretty simple. You're just gonna come in here, take your tape measure, and we're gonna measure this gap. So right here we're showing two and seven eighths. And on this side, we're right at three. So I'm gonna do three inches and I'll show you how that transfers to the board. Okay, so here we have our 37 inch board. And if you'll notice here on the end, we have some lines. So all I did was measure from the top of the board down three inches and then draw a line over. This is what we're going to remove on both sides. So you should end up with something that looks like this. It sets in place, it's tight against the wall, tight against the back of the window. Okay, so now the window sill is in. I went ahead and framed out the inside so you're just measuring from the opening, top to bottom, and filling 
top to bottom and filling, and then insert the top. Um, this frame was a kind of little weird from the way that we framed out the wall, and so I actually have this doubled up. There is two one buys here, two one buys here, two one buys on the top. And it's not going to make a difference um, once it's all trimmed because the face trim will cover that double stack. Alright, so now we're going to do the face trim for the sides and we're just going to measure from the sill and then up to the top here. So we're at 52 and a quarter. I want to make sure that it's the same over here and it is. So I'm going to cut two one by fours at 52 and a quarter. So I just want just a little bit of a setback. And then we will attach those. And then the other side, and the same thing, just a little bit of a setback. So the next step is to measure for the one by two because we're doing farmhouse style windows. So I'm going to measure from the outside of both of these vertical pieces that we installed and it's 34 inches. And then I know that I want an inch overhang on each side so that it will match up with the windowsill on the bottom. So I'm going to cut this at 36 inches. Scratch that, it's an inch and a half overhang, so we're going to do 37 inches. Alright, and then instead of putting this one this way, we are actually installing it like this. I'm just going to set it up here for now. If I can get it to stay. So that one's in and then above that we're doing a one by six um, so I'm going to cut that at 35 inches which is the width from here to here. Alright, so then this piece goes up top and we want to make sure that it's even with the ones underneath it. Looks pretty good. And then we need another one by two, the same 37 inches. All right, and this one goes up. Make sure it's even. Just a little. when I 
wish I was taller. Oh, wow. I need to grab a chair. The last step is the skirt, which goes under the windowsill. So we're gonna need another one by four at 34 inches. All right, so there you have it, finished farmhouse window. So it's all trimmed. We've got our little bit of reveal, the one by twos up at the top to give it some character. Um, so all that's left is to caulk all the seams and paint it.